Caedmon was an Anglo-Saxon poet who lived in the 7th century in what is now North Yorkshire, England. His story is told in the Ecclesiastical History of the English People, written by the Venerable Bede in the 8th century. He was born in the year 600 and is perceived to be, at first, a simple, uneducated man. Despite the lack of existing texts for him, Caedmon's poetry is considered important for several reasons and has had a significant impact on English literature. It is said that the ability to compose verse came to him in a dream one night while resting from his labors at the Strionchelch monastery contained within Whitby Abbey. According to Bede's account, Cadman was a herdsman who worked for a monastery in Whitby. One night, he had a dream in which he was visited by a divine figure who instructed him to sing a song about the creation of the world. When he woke up, Cadman found that he was able to remember the words of the song and began to compose more poems based on biblical stories. His poetry was well received by the monks at the monastery, and he became known for his religious verse. This must have been quite a vivid dream because he was inspired to write the eulogistic poem which is known as Sedman's Hymn. It was a poem praising God and acknowledging that he created all of heaven and earth. It was written in Latin but here is a translation of at least some of it. Now let me praise the keeper of heaven's kingdom. The might of the creator, and his thought. The work of the father of glory, how each of wonders. The eternal Lord established in the beginning. He created for the sons of men. Heaven as a roof, the holy creator. Then middle earth the keeper of mankind, The eternal Lord, afterwards made the earth for man the almighty lord. Cadman's poetry is considered important for several reasons. It represents one of the earliest examples of English literature. At the time, Latin was the language of the church and of literature, and it was rare for works to be written in the vernacular. Cadman's poetry, therefore, is significant for its use of Old English, the language spoken by the Anglo-Saxons. His poetry placed him in an exclusive collection of only 12 known Anglo-Saxon poets. Scholars that came along in the following centuries might have been skeptical about the story of the miraculous conversion of a simple shepherd into a great and learned poet but Bede's account certainly rings true in many quarters. He believed that Sedman deserves his place amongst the great names of English religious figures and intellectuals. Cadman's poetry reflects the religious and cultural values of the Anglo-Saxon period. The poems are based on stories from the Bible and are written in a style that is similar to the oral tradition of the time. In addition, the poems demonstrate the importance of religion and spirituality during this period. Cadman's poetry demonstrates the role of oral tradition in the transmission of literature during this time. Bede's account of Cademan's story suggests that the poems were composed orally and were memorized and performed by bards and minstrels. The poems, therefore, were not static texts, but were living works that could be adapted and changed over time. Although none of Cademan's original poems have survived, his work has had a significant impact on English literature. The story of Cademan's dream and his subsequent poetry has become a popular legend, and has been the subject of numerous works of literature and art over the centuries. In addition, the use of Old English in Cademan's poetry has influenced later writers, including J.R.R. Tolkien, who used Old English as the basis for the language of the Rohirrim in The Lord of the Rings. Sedman's life ended sometime around the year 670 which meant that he was 70 years old when he died. It was recorded that he had a premonition of his own death. Cadman was an important figure in Anglo-Saxon literature and culture. Although his original poems have not survived, his story and his influence on English literature have endured it became an inspiration for some writers, poets directors and bloggers. The significance of Cademan's poetry lies not only in its historical importance, but also in its continued relevance to contemporary literature and culture.